What's up my lady loves, I'm Pokecinema and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X Wonderlock. In the last episode we did some stuff and some things, we defeated the 8th gym leader and now in this episode we can actually go to the Pokemon League. But before we do that I think we should do a couple of teensy teensy tiny things, just something that we're gonna probably want to take care of. So yeah let's go, let's go do it, we gotta go back to this this PC place and I think we're gonna need waterfall I think you think I don't really know 100% sure and this is the gym that's not a Pokemon Center we need to get to a Pokemon Center alright we we have to go there so that is up here I believe if I could make it and oh my god I've been drinking so much Dr. Pepper so I'm burping ah okay well let's check the PC uh, what we're going to want to do is grab out a Pokemon that can learn waterfall and all that cool stuff Can Pampor learn that? You know, I really don't know. I might just Make some of our old Pokemon learn that uh, Let me try Pampor though, and what we will do is probably replace someone in our team I'm going to do that just because Togekiss is really high leveled at this point point. And yeah, we're just gonna have this Pampor here and see if we can teach it Waterfall. And if we can, then oh, whoops, then uh, that thing will be will be a slave to us. And also, I got uh, Sludge Bomb off screen and did a little bit of training, not too much. So hopefully, you guys do not mind about all that stuff. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And you know what? We could probably just get rid of Quick uh, Quick Attack. I mean, do we really need Quick Attack? Probably not. Let's just, let's look. Let's look at the the moves that you have. Let's see. Uh, substitute, quick, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of quick attack so we don't have to have any slaves. I'm going to do it. Alrighty. And I'm probably going to teach strength to um, one of our Pokemon. Not Bob Hole. No, no, no. I'm going to teach you to, um, I guess, Aggron. Uh, we have Iron Head, so I guess it's really, it's it's kind of unnecessary for us to have... Heavy slam, so yeah, I will be teaching him strength. So let's go ahead and do that. So that basically, I'm teaching him that so that we could move around rocks and stuff, and it's really gonna be helpful. So yeah, all right, we don't have to get any slaves. So let's go ahead and get toge Togekiss, Togedogle, Badango, Fruit Cake Baskets. I don't know. Let's just get this guy out of the box area. If I could pick him up, there we go, buddy, and trade you out, and awesome, alright, I guess we're not gonna have to do anything, but we did still need to come here, regardless, because we need to buy some items, people, people, we need to buy some items, so that's what we're doing, we're going to buy some stuffy stuff, um, hello friend, I would like to buy just like, I don't know, like six of these, we should be good with that, and then I think we have a nugget to sell, or something, we, we have some stuff that we can sell. And I guess I am going to sell it if I can in this episode. Let's see what we got here. We got a mystic water. We want to keep that. Um, there's got to be something. I thought I missed something that one time. Maybe I was. Maybe that was in another game. That was probably in another game. I guess it was. All right. Well, that's fine and dandy. We could probably sell some rare candies. I don't know how much. No, that's. Eh, I don't need rare candy. I mean, I don't know. We'll sell stuff later. We'll sell stuff later. All right. We, we are getting distracted here. I'm getting distracted here, I should say. Let's just get out of here and let's finally continue on. I'm going to try to get through all of the Elite Four today. so, uh, Or at least not to the Elite Four. I'm going to try to get through all of the... Um, what's the place called? Victory Road. So that's what we are going to be doing in today's episode. Hopefully, if we can do that. So let's just go back this way and talk to Mr. Man Pants. How's it going, Mr. Man Pants? The gate entrance. Uh, this is the gate entrance to Victory Road. Only Pokemon trainers who've collected all eight gym badges may pass. Your total of numbers or bananas is... Oh, you got all eight. Well, let me test your abilities. Let's do it. Sorry. I'm checking out my microphone, seeing how it looks. And it... Oh, girl, you're looking good. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so his first Pokemon is going to be Carbink. Um, let's see. I'm just going to go for an Iron Head. Worst case scenario, it's neutral. I don't know, because the thing is Rock Fairy, so let's just go for, ooh, ooh, Mega, yeah, yeah, we got a Mega Evolve, Mega Evolve, and then let's go for an Iron Head, so there we go, people, hopefully you guys like my outfit, I don't really like it, I will be honest, I don't like it, I feel like I should change, but, whatever, alright, Agron, how's it going, buddy, how, how you doing, ugh, gosh, I have the, the hiccups, people, Let's go for, oh wow, Iron Head, yeah, it's, it's super duper duper effective. Okay, so 
Steel is good against Rock. I've forgotten that. All right, Raichu's going to be the next Pokemon. We might as well stay out uh, just because I have E-Quake. And, yeah, that should be that should be pretty good. I don't know if we'll outspeed, though. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we would. But that's... Oh, God. Crit. Really. Really. I don't know what is wrong with hacks today, but I keep getting, like, the crap hacks out of me. And it's kind of annoying, but... Whatever, we got that stupid Raichu taken out, and now Kingdra's gonna be the last Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch into, uh, let's just switch into Nibble Snarf. Nibble Snarf should be doing enough damage to take this guy out. I'm fully confident in Nibble Snarf's abilities, so come on out here, buddy. Hey, Nibble Snarf, how you doing? All right, let's go for a Dragon Claw, and that should be enough to take out Kingdra. So goodbye, friend. It was nice knowing you. Hopefully, you can heal my Pokemon after what you did. You got a crit on me, man. Not cool. Definitely not cool, but I have uh, EXP share turned off at this at this moment in time. I might turn it on, maybe. I don't really know, because some of our Pokemon really don't need to level up, and some Pokemon do. I, I don't know. We'll just we'll just turn it on. EXP share was turned on, but let's get off our bike so we can actually enjoy this moment. Here we go. Look at all of this, people. Oh, boy. We finally made it to uh, Victory Road. How exciting is this? I am very excited. I love this thing. It like breaks down and turns into stairs. It's the best thing ever, man. It's it's amazing. And I need a haircut. Who wants to cut my hair? Someone, please, because I am too lazy to go get it cut. Yeah, see, that looks it looks cool. That doesn't really make sense how it happened, but regardless, it looks cool. This all looks amazing. But let's go ahead and continue on. Oh wow, half of the screen like split or something. It looked weird, but here we go. We are in Victory Road and there's a lot of hidden items in this place and a lot of things that you can pick up. So you got to be got to be weary people. You got to be weary. But I know a very quick way to get through this place. So I'm probably going to be taking the quickest way that I know how. And looks like we're going to have to fight this lady, which is okay. It's all right. I just want to spend my time with my Pokemon. Everyone keeps challenges me to battle. I ran all the way here, yet I still can't find uh, peace and quiet. Well, you challenged me to a battle. Let's let's scoot my chair forward so I can tell you guys the story. Uh, this lady challenged me to a battle. That's the story. And there you go. Hopefully you guys like my story. All right, she just got an ag... Uh, not an Agron, a Weavile. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Our Pokemon's damaged. And that thing is at level 60. That is a high-level Pokemon. It's a very high level Pokemon. All right, well, let's switch and let's just go for a flamethrower with Delphox. Oh boy, low kick. Not cool, man. Not cool. That would have definitely KO'd my Pokemon. Good thing I have Rocky Helmet, though. That thing seems to be very useful. Let's just go for a flamethrower and that should be more than enough to take out Weavile. Goodbye, Weavile. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Now we have to heal Agron because, man, this, this lady, not this lady, the dude before. <laughs> messed me up and I have to get my knee out of here it always feels good I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but there we go everybody's gaining some levels nice and we defeated Alazna whatever her name was I didn't get to catch that but whatever Alazna I believe that's what it said Alazena I don't know Alazna Al 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 man Pokemon has some retarded names I'm not even trying to understand them all right I'm just not gonna do it not gonna do it not gonna do it all right, well, let's hope that we have a repel up, do we, people? Let's check. You got to make 100% sure because you never know, man. You never know. I haven't run into a wild Pokemon yet, but that could change in the future. And look at that. I didn't have one up, so there we go. Good thing I did put one out. Small waves roll on the water. Would you like to use Surf? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, I would. Let's use Surf then. And let's go. Yeah. Okay. We could probably skip that trainer if we really wanted to, but I'm just going to fight him. Why not? Our Pokemon seem to be on par with everyone else's. So we might need the battles, actually, before the Elite Four. So we're, we're definitely going to be battling and fighting these dudes. Hello, friend. Hello, Steelix. Ooh. Ooh, I believe that is a Steel Ground, maybe? Steel Rock Pokemon? I don't even know. I don't really know. We're just going to stay in and go for an E-Quake, and that should be enough to take this guy out. So let's hope that it is. Hello, Agron. Come out here, man. Show the Steelix uh, what it's like to be a cool Pokemon. You know what? Steelix actually gets a Mega, so you can't diss on this guy at all for anything. And wow. Wow. Okay, I have a lot of defense, so I should be able to live this absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, am, man. Look at that. Agron is such a tank. Let's just go for another E-Quake. And that should be more than enough to take out Steelix. Good thing Agron's a tank, honestly, because... I don't know. That was dangerous of me to stay in. And Simma grew a level from that. Nice. And you're learning Wild Charge. Ooh, what? What dis? 
What this? It shrouds itself in electricity. This also damages the user a little bit. Nah, let's not. Let's not learn that. Let's keep old moves. Give up on wild charge. Yeah, there we go. Look at me. I figured out how to give up on stuff. All right, Electrode's going to be the next Pokemon. Hmm, we shall switch into Nibble Snarf then and go for an E Quake just because. I don't know. He's got the ground type advantage, and I mean, he's just a great Pokemon, so. Hey, Electrode, how's it going, buddy? I wish that you were the actual color of a Pokeball and not pink, but whatever, man. Let's go for that E-Quake, and it should be enough to take this guy out to dinner and out to lunch. Goodbye, friend. Oh, I look so sad. It was like, why? I would just try to be your friend, and you killed him. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. All right, Kangaskhan's going to be next. Let's go ahead and switch back into Agron and go for a Iron Head, I guess. I don't know, man. That should do pretty good damage. Right, people? Right, right. All right, Kangaskhan, how's it going, friend? How you doing, man? How's how's dinner? How's lunch? How's life? Let's go for that Iron Head and see how much we can do to this guy, though. Crunch is normal effective now, right? Yeah, it still doesn't matter, though. We got this guy. Won't kill it in one hit, probably. Not even two. Wow. Okay, well, let's go for another Iron Head. Maybe we can get a crit or something. Who knows? Man, that Crunch is actually... I don't know. It's kind of annoying that it, it's not, not very effective, if that makes sense. I don't know, it used to be not very effective, but because of the new changes and all the games and stuff, it's it's normal effective to, uh, or neutral to a Steel-type Pokemon, which is kind of frustrating. I don't know, they they nerfed Steel-types, which Steel-types already weren't that great, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's whatever. They kind of got buffed, too, at the same time, though. All right, Togekiss grew a level, even though it really didn't need it, man. That Pokemon really does not need to level up at all, but... It did. Oh, well. And we got a fighter guy here. Probably shouldn't be going with Aggron if we're going to fight that guy. And I think we're going to. I'm actually... Uh, should I be... I'm not going to be safe. I'm going to switch into Nibble Snarf. I mean, Nibble Snarf is a pretty safe bet. But I, I'm just not going to battle that guy with him. Let's see what's down here. I know there's... This is not the right way to go. But I want to see what's down here. And I don't know where that lady went. She's gone. Oh, God. She's right there. And she's going to run into me. Okay, maybe I can escape with my life. Maybe I can. Nope. Okay, she got me. Now that you're on Victory Road, I bet you're nervous. Let's see. All right, let's see. Let me drink a Dr. Pepper. Ah, so good. There's nothing like a cold Dr. Pepper. That is a truth. That is a very, very good truth. But her Pokemon is going to be Halucha. Hello, Halucha, my friend. Have you seen a Mega Evolved Garchomp? I bet you haven't. I bet you haven't. All right, let's go ahead and... Mega Evolve him and go for a Dragon Claw and hope that that is enough to kill this guy. I really don't like Mega Garchomp's look, though. To be completely honest, I feel like they could have done better than making Scythes. I feel like they could have made him a cooler-looking Pokemon. But that's fine. Let's see if that's enough to kill Halucha. Not quite, man. Not quite, surprisingly. Actually didn't do good damage at all. Even though it's a Mega ev Evolution, it's still... I don't know. I probably should have went for a Rock Slide or something. Let's go for another Dragon Claw. That's enough to take out Halucha. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. And Agron grew to level 62. Awesome, friend. Awesome. And Mindchild's going to be the next Pokemon. Let's just stay in and go for, I don't know, an E-Quake, I guess, since that is more damage than Dragon Claw. I don't know why I'm using Dragon Claw. Let's just go for that. And that should maybe be enough to kill it. Wow, okay, it is enough to kill it. Forgot how strong this guy was. All right, there we go. And that puts us at level 63. Nice job, buddy. We are we're getting pretty high leveled, but I mean the people in here are also high leveled as well. So, yeah, yeah, they're they're high leveled. All right, well we got the item from over in that corner. Now let's just continue on. Hey, you know what? We need to heal up our Pokemon just a little bit. So, let's just use these hyper potions. I don't care if it's a waste. I feel like we should be using them anyway. I have some rare candies. I might use them all on Agron. I know that they give the least possible stat game, but I really just don't want to train this guy up for a long time. So I'm going to use all the rare candies we have on him. There we go. Because I really just, I do not want to train him. So <laughs> yeah, there we go. And we're learning double edge. Um, I will not learn that because I don't like that move. You know what? Just in case, we'll give him a calcium. There we go. It raises. Oh, wait. No, that's special attack. You want that then. Oh, wow. We don't even have all the EVs in some of our Pokemon. Wow. Okay. Can I give that to you? No. Nope. All right. Well, I'll give that to you then. And let's see. What else do we have? PP up. I could probably use that on some items. Or not some items. Some moves. But uh, we won't be using those quite yet. So let's just continue on this way. I've been running around with my bare feet to train. you have any idea how strong that's made me? No. 
No, I feel like that's made your feet callous, but I don't feel like it would make you strong. All right, he's got him a champ. That's a little bit dangerous. Kind of, that's kind of threatening to be completely honest, but Nibble Snarf, man, I believe in you, man. I, I just believe in you, especially when you Mega Evolve, so let's Mega Evolve him and go for an E-Quake and see exactly how much damage that will do to our boy uh, Machamp. A Machamp of Machamp. I'm a champion. Oh, wow, that... We avoided the attack, and that actually did pretty good damage, so... Let's go for another E-Quake, and that should be enough to take out Machamp. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. My four-armed beauty. My four-armed beauty. I feel like they made him not as buff in this game. He just doesn't look as buff to me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But let's just continue on. Yeah, that's not gonna make you strong, buddy. You gotta train your Pokemon. You can't just run around barefoot and think that you're good. Not how life works. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh god, okay, that was close. We almost ran into that guy. And I am going to avoid him because I don't feel like battling him at this moment. Let's toss down another repel though because it looks like we're about to go into another cave. So let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna, well, I was going to skip you, but I guess not. I, I'm just gonna skip these guys, man. If I can, I'll skip a trainer. All right, Battle Girl Sigrid. Sigrid? Sigrid. I don't even know what your name is, to be honest. It's kind of retarded. It's kind of stupid. And I know I know people probably don't like it when I say that, but I don't mean it that way. I promise. I'm sorry. But let's go for an E-Quake, and that should be enough to take out Metatite, maybe? I don't know. I don't like this Pokemon. I really have never taken an interest in it, so I don't know how much anything it has how much defense or anything like that so let's just go for the big e quake and that should be enough to take you out goodbye friend you are done you are done so done so we defeated battle girl sigrid hi yeah you beat me yes i did i always will i always can and i always will i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but hopefully it makes some kind of sense all right there's a lot of trainers in this place and you could do a lot of training in this place but the thing is the thing is, um, that's the wrong way where I'm going. That's not where I need to go. I need to go another way. All right, well, run down here really quick. There we go, so I can run around you. Run back down, friend. Wait, no, I should have just followed you up and then, yeah, like that. All right, now run back down. See you later. You just got avoided like a freaking pro. All right, am I not going the right way? This is confusing. I, I don't remember this place being confusing at all. I really don't. It was easy last time. Now let's just make sure to not go down the side that this guy's running at. Where'd you go? Aha! I almost ran out for a second. You had me... You had me kind of... Kind of fooled. Alright, I can't push that aside. Okay, I need to come up here. And then hop around. I got you. I got you. Okay. Um... Well... You're looking that way. Nice! And nice, haha, fool, fool. All right, now let's just kick this boulder while avoiding that guy still. There we go, kick it that way. And now we will plug up this little hole over here. And I don't really know what that does, but we will plug up the hole. Yeah, we did it. And this should probably, all right, that allows us to progress, I guess. Well, it looks like we have to fight these two guys. All right, I'm going to teach you a lesson. People call us strange for being more interested in participating Perfecting teamwork than something about the champion. All right, well, that's fine. We got Brains and Brawn, man. Armin and Hugo. How's it going, people? How's it going? And it looks like you two won't be living for very long. So I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for a Dragon Claw on Medicham because it's the weaker Pokemon. And then go for the Flamethrower on Gallade. So let's see if we can kill these guys in one hit. I don't really know if we will be able to, but I'm hoping we can, man. You can always have hope. So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's go for the flamethrower first and see how much. Come on, Gallade. Not even close. Okay, not even close. But that Dragon Claw should do enough. Goodbye, Metacham. Thank you for the free EXP. I, I will always come here to get free EXP from you because you, you easy, man. You just easy. And that Night Slash, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, well, now you're going to die, uh, Gallade. You shouldn't have done that. Right, you got two Pokemon that are going to outspeed you. So let's just go for the... Flamethrower, and that should be enough to take out this Gallade once and for all. So goodbye, man. Get out of here. Get out of town. How dare you touch my Pokemon? Not cool. And that puts us at level 64 with Nibble Snarf. Awesome, man. Not bad. And we are almost at level 66 with our other guy. And ooh, even Togekiss or Togekiss grew a level. 
Thanks, friends. Man, it's so boring. Is it boring? I guess so. You are just sitting in a cave. It would be kind of boring after a long time or a long period of time. Hey, there's something back here. You didn't think I noticed, but I did. It's an exit. Let's just throw down another repel. And let's see if there's something over here, though. There has to be. There wouldn't just be nothing. I don't understand. And, of course, it's a Pokemon. That means I have to catch it. That, if I want it, anyway. I should probably catch it. All right, an Ariados flew from above. Hello, friend. Uh, what can I do to you without killing you? Let's go for a, uh, a rock slide. Crap, that's super effective. That's going to kill it. All right, I'm sorry, man. I would have caught you. We can't catch Pokemon in Victory Road now. Oh, well, I don't... I don't think we're going to be needing Pokemon. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last... In the absolute last... Um, the last thingy thing. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Let's go to the other place. I want to see what the other place is. Because there's got to be some kind of reason why there's two exits. So let's go to this other exit and see what it is. What it is, yo. W what's up? What are you? A rare candy. Alright, that's another thing that we can just give to Agron if he needs it because I really don't want to train him like I said I just I don't want to not that fun to train so all right let's head back up here though and go through the exit place he plays and now this should be the outside portion of this of the elite four and yeah there is an inside and an outside portion but I'm gonna switch Pokemon very quickly actually you know what no 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 I'm not gonna switch Pokemon what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use strength on this there's some cool stuff that you can get where that little girl is. There's uh, actually a Garchompite you can get over there, but I am not going to be picking that up because I already have it. And also, it's an after game item, so that's another thing, another reason why I wouldn't want to do that. Well, let's go slow. You never know if there's going to be a trainer. I don't want to run and hastily run into something that I can avoid. What are, we, what are we doing down here? What is this place? I really don't remember this. Oh, yeah, this is the... Um, the exit place. All right, so if you kick this, actually, there's something very cool. The entrance is right here. So what you could do is just run straight up here, and it will take you um, right to where we were. So that's kind of cool. That's the shortcut area placey thing. Usually in this game, they have stuff like that. In this game. In other games, they don't, but this one, they do, because they're cool like that. I like Pokemon X and Y. All right, well, we don't really need to fight that guy. Eh... We could probably avoid her if we wanted to, and I'm going to try very hard to avoid her because I don't want to fight any fairy-type users right now. But we're going to have to fight this lady, unfortunately. It's an unavoidable fight. What should we do? Um, I'm going to heal up Delphox very quickly before this battle, just in case. You never know when you're going to use a Pokemon, so you might as well heal it up. Alrighty, right. Let's do this, this. Do this, this. Oh, I didn't even have to fight her. Oh, sweet. Okay, and there's an item back here. Really? 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 Just random Pokemon. All right, and what is it? Oh, it's a Fero. A wild Fero dived out of the sky. Fero, I don't want to fight you, man. I just, I want to be friends, you know, and I want to run away because I don't want to fight you. Man, level 58 for wild Pokemon is not bad, especially when the trainers are the same level. So let's get this quick ball, and then let's just leave. Hey, look, you can see icy stuff from here. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Tommy, wait a second. All right, I'll wait. Hello, lady. It's, uh, it's your friend. It's Serena. I've been thinking ever since all that trouble at Geosinge. Lysander chose only Team Flair. You and I choose everyone but Team Flair. But since our position forced us, or forced our hands, you can't really say any of us were right. That's the way I feel. If both sides have something to say, maybe it's best they meet halfway. So I made a decision. From now on, I don't just want to win. I want to see how you and your Pokemon think it feel. All right, man. Let's battle. All right, so we're going to battle our rival. All right, let's do it, then. Let's do it, Serena. Let's battle. I just got five Pokemon this time. And the first Pokemon, of course, is going to be Meowstic. That stupid, stupid psychic Pokemon. That thing killed Duo Blade, and I'll never forgive that, that Pokemon. Not her Pokemon, anyway. But just the Pokemon in general. Meowstic is going to die. I'm going to make sure that that Pokemon dies. But let's just Mega Evolve with Nibble Snarf and go for an E-Quake. And hopefully that'll do enough damage to take out this Pokemon. But unfortunately, of course, it has Fake Out. Of course, people. Of course, so it just is being very obnoxious. Let's go for another E-Quake, and this thing should be taken out pretty darn easily. Goodbye, Meowstic. I don't think the crit really mattered there, but had to happen. You died. 
It's a good game. Now, Vaporeon is going to be the next Pokemon. You know what? Let's just switch into Simba. Because Simba doesn't really get enough training anymore. It's kind of one of the Pokemon we don't use. Because it, it just is so... It's ahead of everybody for some reason. I don't know why. It just... It always gets ahead. But Vaporeon shouldn't be too much of a problem for Simba. Might not kill it in one hit, but we'll go for the Thunder Fang and see what we can do. Oh, wow. That actually did some pretty good damage. Not bad at all. All right. There we go. Got that Pokemon taken out, or taken out and Delphox even grew a level. Good job. Al Altaria is going to be next. Uh, is that a Dragon Fairy type? I don't even know. I really don't know. Let's just go in with... Hmm. I don't know what type that is. I don't know if it's Dragon Flying still. Because it is pretty... I, I don't know if it's Dragon Fairy or what. I really don't know, unfortunately. So, I'll just go in with Aggron to be safe. Since this thing probably won't be able to affect me with whatever it does. So, let's just go for an Iron Head. And see how much that does. Confide, dude. That's not cool. Really not cool. My special attack fell. Oh, that doesn't even matter. Alright, that does normal damage. Okay, so it's probably not a fairy type Pokemon then. I don't know. I really don't know. Dragon Pulse shouldn't do too much to us since that is not very effective against steel types. Let's just go for another Iron Head. That should be enough to take that Pokemon out. So good game. Aggron actually did something. And wow, you gained, uh, you gained a level from it. Good job, buddy. Good job. You're a good guy, Aggron. And let's see. Chestnut's going to be the final Pokemon. Um, hmm, who should we go in with? Let's just go in with Delphox to be completely safe and go for a Flamethrower. Should be able to take that thing out in one hit. And I believe she hasn't even used her last Pokemon yet. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and just use a Flamethrower on Chestnut. Hello, friend. Hello. And goodbye. We could use Psychic, but I feel like Flamethrower is a better move. So, goodbye, friend. It was nice knowing you. Very nice knowing you, but you gotta die. That's just how things work, man, unfortunately. And our last Pokemon's going to be Absol. It's Dark-type, so, huh. Let's just go in with Nibble Snarf and go for an E-Quake since that is the strongest move on our team. And probably, yeah, probably the strongest move we have, so, yeah. All right, Absol, hello, friend. I don't know if she can Mega Evolve you yet, but whatever. Let's just go for an E-Quake. I guess she can't e uh, Evolve it yet, but that's fine. Let's go for the E-Quake, and that's good game, Absol. I'm sorry, friend. It had to be done. I had to kill you. It just, it had to end like this. And Sima grew to level 65. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I still like your beans. I know, I still like your beans too. They taste the best. They are the best. They're just the bestest. It's hard to put a finger on it, exactly, but I feel like you and I are alike. And that's why I didn't want to lose you. But I think the reason we're so alike is because we have so many things in common. I'm really happy that we're friends. Oh, thanks, lady. And she gives us Max Revives. Not bad. Since you're my rival, I want you to become a strong, or stronger and stronger Pokemon trainer. We'll keep getting stronger too, of course. I suppose the first step is mastering the power that comes from the bond between me and my Pokemon, just like you did. Do your best at the Pokemon League. An awesome trainer like you can handle it. Oh, so sweet, lady. So sweet. I think I might cry. Not really. I have no emotions. I don't feel. All right, let's just leave that place, though, and I think... Is there something back here? I'm kind of scared. Okay, there's an item back there, but... I don't want to teach Rock Smash to any of my Pokemon, so... Yeah, I'm not doing that. But we've got a little bit left to go, people. A little tiny bit left to go. There's, like, I think, like, five veterans up here or something. There's, like, a bunch of trainers at the very end of this. All right, just run. We can hop over this, and then let's hop this way. Um, this way, and oh, there was an item over here. How do I get to that? I don't know. I don't know, but I want it. I want that item. And are you gonna run a full circle? You totally are. Haha! -ha! And I got a full restore from coming over here. Nice, nice, nice. All right, friend, finish your for full square circle thing, and I'm going to run off. Yeah, look at me. And of course, a wild Pokemon. Get out of here, man. These things. I have max repels for a reason because I don't want to fight you. Okay. Because you're just not good enough for me. So get out of here. Let's run away. Ugh, I don't want to fight these stupid gravels and stuff, man. I just got to watch where I'm going then because they pop out of everywhere. Um, Okay, I'm not going over there. I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like it. And this should be the exit, I think. So let's just run over here and talk to this guy. Vet, vet, veteran. Vet, vet all the way. All right, man. I don't know what I think about your theme song, but... I think I'm going to have to take you down. Definitely. A Bayonet, not a problem. One of the Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. Actually, I've never even used Mega Bayonet, honestly. I've never used it. I would like to, though. It seems like a really cool Pokemon. 
Really does. All right, well, let's go for a Mega Evolution and then go for an E-Quake. I don't think that thing has Levitate, so let's hope that we can kill it. Oh yeah, man. He's got hand scythes. Nice. I don't really like his Mega, though. I really don't. Garchomp's Mega Evolution is like, uh, I feel like they could do so much better. Same with Salamence, and uh, same with a lot of Pokemon, but whatever. At least it got a Mega. I, I can't really complain too much. But that's going to put Bob Hall at level 65. And Togekiss at level 68. Nice. And she's going to switch into Leafeon. So we are going to do a little bit of switching ourselves and go into Delphox and go for a Flamethrower. So let's switch out very quickly. Hello, Delphox. Are you ready to kill, man? Are you ready to kill? Because that's what you're going to do. You're going to kill. That's how we do it. You're a thug, man. You just got to kill. So let's go for that Flamethrower. And that should be a good game to Leafeon. Leafeon's actually a Pokemon that I've always wanted to use but never got the chance. So. Kind of sad, but goodbye, Leafeon. It was nice knowing you. You know what's really sad is that I never got a Grass-type Pokemon in this game. Never once did I get a Grass-type Pokemon. Sucks, but whatever. All right, man. Good enough. Good enough. Let's just use Strength and kick this thing over because I feel like there might be something back here. I'm kind of holding out for a certain TM uh, E-Quake. Not that I even really need it because all the Pokemon that need to know it already know it, but if I can get it, really... Ugh, I hate this stupid... Thing. I hate that they introduced that. It really is annoying. Ariados, hello friend. I've ran away from all your other Pokemon. I'm much stronger than you are. Why would you try to attack me? I don't understand. I can't logically comprehend, but that's fine. That's fine. We just You just wasted my time, and you wasted everyone's time that was watching. So thank you for being a waste of time. What's down here, man? What is down here? I don't know. Oh, it's the... Uh, Strength thing. Okay, that's kind of pointless. It's really pointless. Well, kind of wish I wouldn't have came in here. Well, I guess it's not very pointless because this takes you like straight to the exit, but I don't know why you would be going through this again if you already went through it. Yes, let's throw down another repel and let's hope that nothing comes out from nowhere and freaking comes from the sky. I don't know. Let's just run out of here. Let's get out as quick as we can. Yay! Yay, we're done with that portion, at least. Let's just continue on. Man, there's so much to the Elite Four in this game. There really is a lot to the Elite Four. A lot more than any other game so far, but... All right, let's just battle this lady. Hello, friend. In order to meet strong trainers and strong Pokemon, only one something has to battle. All right, let's do it. Let's battle then. Oh, you know what? My my zipper is, like, unzipped. You know what? I'm unzipping this, ladies. Hopefully you guys like what you see. But uh, it's getting kind of hot. I have my room. I haven't turned on the heat, and it's been so cold outside. So I've kind of just been sitting in my um, my jacket all day. But for some reason, when I record it, it gets pretty toasty. So I'm actually going to take off my jackets. Ugh. Let's do this. I'm mega evolving, actually. That's what's happening right now. But yeah, it gets really toasty for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm sitting like directly in front of a screen. But for whatever reason, it does. But that's, that's fine, because now we're good. All right, Nibble Snarf, good job, buddy. You gained some nice, nice EXP, and let's go ahead and switch out and go into uh, Scizor. Hmm. Let's just go into Delphox. Delphox is quickly becoming the most powerful guy on our team, unfortunately, and I accidentally bumped my mic. Hopefully, you guys didn't hear that. But that's okay, people. Hopefully, you don't mind. You won't mind. I know. I can already see. All right, let's go for a Flamethrower, and that should be enough to take out Scizor. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Fly into heaven. Man, there's so many trainers. I really hate Victory Road in this place. Especially because you can't super speed, and all it is is just a crap ton of trainers on every every corner. They're like, hey, I'm another trainer. I'm another trainer. Yeah, I see you there, friend, and I don't want to fight you. I really don't. Really don't want to. All right, let's go on this thing. And Dragon Claw is actually up to the right, I believe. And I'll get it, I guess, but we already have it on the Pokemon that I want to know it. It's kind of pointless, but, I mean, whatever, man. Whatever, you never know. Seriously. Why do repels even exist in this game if Pokemon just jump out of the sky and run into you? I don't understand. It's really annoying. You wasted, like, a full 30 seconds of my life. You wasted it, man. You wasted it. I'm gonna cry. Uh, okay, well, you can battle this guy to get it. But unfortunately, I don't really want to, so... Let's see if we can do this without fighting him. Turn the other way, man. Alright, yep, thank you. Seriously? 
Seriously, I have repels for a reason, Jesus. Stop it, Firo. No. Bad. No. Okay, let's run. I don't want to fight you, man. I, I don't want to. If I, if I didn't want to fight you, or if I wanted to fight you, I wouldn't have repel. In effect, I wouldn't do it, man. But I went out of the way to purchase repels to avoid wild Pokemon. So why in the freaking crap, and who thought it would be a good idea to make them swoop above and make them unavoidable? I don't know, but it's the most annoying thing ever. I don't like it. I really don't like that. It's so annoying. All right, let's see what you have. I accidentally ran into this guy. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. We still have, like, three more veterans to go. This Elite Four, or this Victory Road is long as crap. It's just very, very, very long and very, very tedious. So let's go over the E-Quake. I figure we don't need to Mega Evolve because Torkoal is fire type. So I don't know. It'll be easy enough to take out. On our own, but there we go. Get some nice EXP, and now you're gonna switch into Golem. Let's just go into Bob Hole since we haven't used him at all. And uh, yeah, my nose is sniffly and itchy and stuff. I don't know why all of a sudden, but that's fine. That's fine and fine. Hello, friend. I know you probably have Sturdy. I know you do. I can see it on your just stupid face. He looks cross-eyed. I don't like it. Golem. I mean, I really do like Golem, but I don't know. This guy's Golem just kind of makes me mad. It looks stupid. It's like, gee whiz, man, have you ever seen a porcupine? No. Wow, you got a crit. Can you not get hacks today, people? That's like, uh, today has been the worst day for recording. I've had so many hacks. It's so annoying. I really hope the Elite Four is not like this, because if it is, I will literally break this DS. <laughs> I will. I seriously will. Because that is just the most infuriating thing ever, is Pokemon dying to hacks. And that got put in yellow. I got put in yellow because that golem decided to get freaking lucky. Not cool, man. It's not how this game should work. Not how this game should work. It should be a skill, a skill-based game, man. All right, well, let's continue on and go down this stupid waterfall because I, I had to get Dragon Claw, even though I didn't need it. I really didn't need it. But whatever, we can go in this cave. And uh, this should be the end of the victory road. But there's going to be like three guys here, I think. Wish I could avoid them. I really do. I really, really do. All right. Well, let's switch Pokemon then. At least, maybe. No, let's just keep... let's just stay out with Nibble Snarf, I guess. Yeah, you can't avoid these guys. Oh, it sucks. After all the training, I don't really care, man. I don't care. As if all of the trainers in here weren't enough, they decide to throw Timeo in the freaking very end of it. Who names their kid Timeo? They're like, I, what's a good name for our, our child, Charles? I can't think of anything. And he's like, Timeo. Timeo the veteran. And he's like a baby. And it, it just doesn't make sense, man. Who named you that? I feel really bad. And I'm sorry that they did. But let's Mega Evolve Nibba Snarf. Nib, Nibba. Nibba. Nibble Snarf and go for a Dragon Claw. That should be enough to take out Trevenant. So goodbye, friend. Hello and goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Very nice knowing you, but I just am tired of seeing your ugly face. Get out of here. And Gigalith. Gigalith. What is this? Gigalith. I know this. Oh, that's the... That's the rock thing, right? Yeah, it is from black and white. Okay, I knew it. Just took me a second, people. Took me a second. Because I totally forgot black and white existed. And I know that you're going to have Sturdy. I know you are. I like Gigalith, though. It looks pretty cool, actually. Alright, let's go for a Surf, and that should be enough to get you down to 1 HP, anyway. That's not going to kill, unfortunately. Wow! Okay, you did a lot of damage. You did a lot of damage. Gigalith, get out of town, man. Get out of here. I can't even see your face because of how much damage you just did to me. It's so annoying. Alright, there we go. We grew to level 66. Not even bad. And Delphox is at level 68. Wow. And Nibble Snarf is at level 66 as well. And Togekiss is at level 69. All right. Oh, dude, don't even talk to me. Your name is Timeo. It's not even a real name. Timio, maybe. I don't even know. Is it? Yeah, there's another lady. Of course there is. Of course there is, people. There's got to be a crap ton of trainers before the end of it because they just have to rub it in your face. They have to show you. They're like, haha, you thought you were done. No. No, no, no. All right, well, let's switch out to Simba because he's the lowest level Pokemon on our team. And hopefully we can get some good training with him. Ah, oh, you've got youth on your side, but we've got experience on ours. You look like you're 12 years old, too. What are you saying, lady? Oh, wow, she does. She's totally a MILF. Totally a MILF. All right, well, let's fight this veteran lady. 
Uh, you got a Glacia, not not going to be a problem, hopefully. Hopefully, anyway. Let's go for a Fire Fang, and I don't know if this will kill at one hit. I really hope it will, but I believe Glaceon's kind of bulky. Yeah, a little bit, maybe. All right, that Blizzard could possibly be a problem for us, so uh, not too bad. All right, Fire Fang, that should be a good game. All right, goodbye, Glaceon. It's an adorable Pokemon. I seriously love Glaceon. It's so cute. I wish it was, I wish it was better. I wish it was a better Pokemon. All right, well, that's enough to put us to level 66. Thank you for the free EXP. Let's see what else you got. A Snorlax. Hmm. Um. Well, let's go on with Toge Togekiss because it's got um. What does it have? It has Aura Sphere. Yeah, and it's a lot higher level than he is. Hello, Fatty. How you doing, friend? Let's go for that Aura Sphere. I think this should do at least half. Why is my nose so itchy, people? Why is it so itchy? But wow, that didn't even do half. I forgot. This guy's special defensive bulky, right? But I should be eating up those body slimes for days. Okay, let's go for another Aura Sphere. I'm just going to kill it with that because we already switched. I don't want to switch out and get another Pokemon hurt or anything like that. And man, my nose is so itchy. Why? Power Up Punch shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just go for one more uh, Aura Sphere and that should be good game to the Snorlax. So goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Yeah, he looks so sad when he dies. You know what? I wish I could have kept my Snorlax for the entire game. Really do wish I could have, but, um, yeah, it just didn't work. I can see the youth isn't all you have, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, thanks for the money, I guess. You're giving me a lot of money. That's cool. I like money, but, man, it's really, it's not worth all this training. It's really not. I forgot how annoying this this Elite Four is. It's going to take me years, years and years. All right, well, let's switch to, um... I guess let's switch to Bob Hole. Bob Hole's pretty good. He, he's a good Pokemon to lead out with, and this is probably our last battle. To cap off the strings, I don't really care about your dialogue, really. I just want to get out of Victory Road, people. I gotta get out. Veteran Giles. At least this guy has a normal name and not freaking Timio or Timio or whatever the heck that other guy's name was. It just didn't make sense. All right, Skarmory is a pretty cool Pokemon to lead out with. Let's just go with a Surf, and that should be... Maybe enough to take this guy out? I don't really know. Almost. And, oh, God. x Scissor is going to be super effective. Wow. Okay. How was I supposed to know that your Skarmory had x Scissor? I don't know. I really don't know. I need to probably look up the Elite Force team and stuff to make sure that um, I don't get wrecked. But there we go. We killed that guy. And now Alakazam's going to be next. Oh, okay. Let's switch out to um, Nibble Snarf. I guess he's a really strong physical attacker of ours, so I feel like he will do pretty well. All right, Nibble Snarf, you can kill this Alakazam. I believe in you. All right, let's Mega Evolve, though. Uh, it's down here. Go for the Dragon Claw. I don't know if we'll outspeed or what. I hope we will, because if we do, then, then we got a free dead Alakazam here. But this thing is really fast. Alakazam is, so I don't really... Oh, my God, you know Dazzling Gleam. Why do you know that? You douche. Oh my god, that's close. How am I supposed to... Why do you have all these moves, man? Are you just built to be a dick? Ah, what a douche. What a douche. Alright, well, let's just go out with Togekiss on this freaking Umbreon. God, what a... What a mm, I'm mad. That's not cool, man. That dazzling gleam on your Alakazam. Not cool at all. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting it. But let's go for a Dazzling Gleam on this Umbreon and hope that it doesn't have freaking Fairy Kill move 3.7. Because apparently everybody in this world has moves that are super effective against my Pokemon that they just normally wouldn't have. But whatever, man. Whatever. This should be the last battle and that's going to put us at level 70 with Togekiss. Holy crap, this guy got so freaking big. All right, man, you lost with all your might. I don't really care what you did with all your might. Just leave me alone, people. I want to be out of this place. Ugh. There we go. We finally made it to the Pokemon League. Jeez. Jiminy Christmas. Oh, goodness. Finally, finally. All right, heal up my Pokemon lady. And we're going to do some shopping in this episode. Um... Yeah, we definitely need to do some shopping. Buy. We need to buy some stuff. Let's get some Hyper Potions. We're not going to need anything else. We don't need revives, so 
get like 60 of these. Yeah, I know I'm overbuying and a lot, but um, I'm just doing it. I got I gotta do it. Full heal. Let's get like 20, I guess. So we have enough of those. And I guess we are all prepared for the next episode. Uh, should be anyway. So you know what? I might just I'm I'm gonna walk in the place. I'm totally gonna walk in the place. Cause what else? We don't need to do anything. There's no more preparations that need to be made, right? Right? No backing out now, right, people? So let's go. Let's walk to the place. Oh my goodness! Look at it. It looks beautiful. Oh, I love the victory road in this place. It it almost makes the entire walk worth it. It really does. Let's go. Let's go inside this place. Wow, look. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to end off the episode right here. Thank you all for watching. If you watched the entire episode, I apologize because, man, it, it was a very long episode. But if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below on this video. All support, anything like that is much appreciated, guys. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you all next time.